keep trying to film this video y no más no me sale. So just bear with me if I ramble. Today I'm going to be talking about what the filmmaking process was like during the recording of A Gangster's Wife, which I just went down to Mexico City last month to record the music video too. I also recorded the music video too back into my life and baby don't leave me. When the videos will be out, I don't know, but I'm hoping soon. If you haven't seen my previous videos on the days prior to this first filming day, go ahead and check them out so you can have a little bit more of the backstory on all of this. What I forgot to mention on the previous video was that a day before filming A Gangster's Wife, I was still looking for the guy that would play my husband in the music video. A few days before that, I had gotten pictures from casting of potential guys that could play my husband, but it was just a no. I needed myself a gangster, not a random. I needed myself un cholito, pelón, gangster, my age, and my height or taller. Because what we're not going to do, no. So seeing that the options were a no, I decided to take action into my own hands and thought, who can play my husband that I know that lives here in Mexico City? I remember that I had a homegirl and her husband always reminded me of my own husband. So what did I do instead of sliding into his DMs and telling him what's up, I slid into hers. out of respect that's what you're supposed to do when dealing with somebody's man right away she replied back and told me that yes i was super excited about that because not only was the guy that was going to be playing my husband on the music video look like my husband it was also somebody that i have known for over 10 years that made me feel a lot better it made me feel like I could share this experience with you because you're not a stranger. Now, in a perfect world, I would have loved if my actual husband would have played my husband on the music videos. Maybe in a future video, I can convince him. So finally, the day came for the filming. I woke up that day, went to go have breakfast there at the hotel. What's good, you guys here enjoying a quick breakfast before I head out to the first location where we're going to be recording a gangster's wife. Look how cute that is with a real life flower. What's up you guys here waiting for the Ubers to head out to the location to start the filming of a gangster's wife girl yesterday at night I was on TikTok live and I had people helping me choose what outfit I was going to be wearing for the video thank you to anybody that was there and that helped me style it keep an eye on here I'm going to be taking you guys along the entire day and on TikTok later on so you guys can also help me pick out the outfit for the video for tomorrow this is exciting you guys finally videos got an uber and headed off to the location where we were going to film the video Mind you, I had no idea what this place was going to look like. I just knew it was a house. But when I got there, it surely did not disappoint you guys. It was a beautiful Mexican house that you see in novelas. Perfect. They showed me around. The film guy actually went set by set and explaining to me the visions that he had for each one. And we talked about what I wanted. I just want to show you guys how beautiful this house is. First of all, can we get a for the high ceilings? It even has a second story. Then he asked me to show him my outfit because the first scene was going to be outside and he wanted to make sure that the coloring or something like that went with the brightness of the outside. I went ahead and I showed him the outfit and he said it was perfect. And then I had to kind of break it down to him that I didn't really have a acting outfit, but I did have one that could maybe work and that I had brought it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the previous video. I explain all about the wrapping outfits and the 
secondary acting outfits he said that was fine then i went with the hair and makeup girl i have never been one that is too fond of letting other people do my makeup because I just feel like I will automatically not like it. I will feel like I am expecting what I do and if you don't do it, I'm gonna freak out. The only time that I have allowed somebody to do my makeup, it was for a runway show and that was it. So this time around, I told her that I would love for her to do my makeup but to allow me to do my eyes and my brows myself. She could do everything else, which I desperately need help with, foundation and all that stuff. But my eyes, I wanted them to be me, my eyebrows as well. She was super nice and gave me all the creative freedom that I wanted. About to get my makeup done. Now you guys know it's rare when I allow somebody to do my makeup, so... But I'm excited. One thing that I loved about having a makeup person on set was that she would keep an eye on me with the sweating. She would keep an eye on me for any craziness. That was a huge help. I recommend you have a makeup artist on set. If you're a girl, 10 out of 10. After she had done my makeup, I went ahead and changed into my outfit. And I was feeling good. I was feeling comfortable. I was not doubting myself at that point or anything. One thing that you're going to be hearing me say throughout these videos a lot is that it was now or never. And I kind of went in with that mentality through this whole music video thing because it's true. It's now or never. I have made up excuses for the past 20 years on why I couldn't do a video because of self-esteem issues. And it's like I'm all out of excuses at that point and I'm just pushing myself to like do the things that I have been making excuses for for the past two decades. The first scene was going to be outside. and I began rapping. This is when I discovered uh, two issues. Number one being that the crop top that I was wearing kept rising up when I was moving around rapping. This caused me to mentally have that distraction of like, is it going up? Is it going up? And I didn't have anything else to change into. I didn't have a second wrapping outfit there. I had that outfit and I had tried it on and all this and that, but I hadn't thought it's going to rise up because you're going to be moving around a lot. Ugh. Nonetheless, I made it work. Second problem was that my press on nails kept falling off. When I put press on nails, you guys, I try not to put that much glue on them because I know that the minute I'm done using them, which is for an event or whatever, I'm going to want to take them off right away. I just use the press on nails when I need them and then I take them off when I'm done. I tend not to put a lot of glue and I also tend to not prep my nails either before I put the press on nails. So a combination of all of that, I was wrapping and then I would feel one of the nails falling off. One of them actually did fall off like to the ground and I had to tell the guy to like stop. But like that's what I said. I learned so much from this that ya pal otra. I already know. So there was times where I had to stop to situate my nails during this whole first day, but I did learn, yeah, for the second day and the third day, I was better when it came to nail stuff. When we were done with that first scene, the guy that was gonna play my husband came through and I thanked them because girl less than 24 hours for him to know that he was going to be my husband for the next three days on videos and for him to just drop everything i will forever be grateful for that huge favor after that first scene came the first acting set 
thing and this was by far my favorite set of them all because the lighting in that room was beautiful it was like a green and it was just the aesthetics of the room were divine that specific set was my favorite from the video I went ahead and I changed into my more casual outfit. On this scene, I was sitting down on a couch. So I was a little bit self-conscious of the fact that I didn't have shoes to wear with that outfit like i had the sneakers and as i mentioned in the previous video that is how i was planning on wearing that dress was with sneakers because i don't really do heels but for a video you know i would have worn heels had i been prepared for that outfit but if you don't know what i'm talking about you guys watch the previous video it's gonna explain everything about my whole dramatic thing with the secondary outfit that i was to use on these videos but i was like you know what that's the least of your concerns home girl like you're doing music videos like callate ya and just do it and that's what i did i sat there and i was like let's go after that scene we had a little break and we went to go have lunch at this restaurant that was down the street it goes from least hot to hottest so good when we got back to the house the film guy was recording some solo videos of my video husband in action we're gonna see what they're doing la iluminación es un pinche parote a la verga after his solo shots were done, it was finally time for us to have a scene of us together. Still here at the A Gangster's Wife video shoot. I've been here since 8 in the morning. It is now 8.43 p.m. We're doing the last scenes and I'm getting my hair refreshed because it's been a minute. And these are more acting scenes. I'm excited. Roughing up the nails for the press-ons because they have been falling off because I've been rushing. Okay, let's place ourselves. We already Vamos otra vez. Vamos a empezar ahora sí. What is this? I can't believe this. A little more distance and then you come a little bit more. And now you push through. All right. Accelerate, accelerate a little bit. Wait, don't look at me! Why would you generate me? I told you not to do it again! Went ahead and recorded the scenes of me and him together. It was very surreal. It was very scary because I didn't want my husband getting upset. He knew that there was going to be a guy playing him, but I just didn't want to cross certain lines. So the video is very pg because i knew that if it was the other way around i would be a mess that first day was really exciting exciting not only because i had filmed my first video for the trip but because i had this weight lifted up off my shoulders this wall that i had put in front of me for so long was no longer there and i was able to go across it and deliver this beautiful experience in recording music videos finally the only thing i wish would have happened is that i wish that this video wouldn't have been the first one that i recorded because i learned so many things from it like the do's and don'ts 
to where by the second and the third video, I was more ready for everything. I was more ready with the nail situation. I was more ready with the outfit situation. I was just more prepared. You know, I was like, I went in fresh to a gangster's wife, but it was what it was. And I am, I'm just happy to finally have something done for the songs. And that that wall is no longer there. Like I could get hit up tomorrow and be like, we got to record a video for this and that. And I would be no hesitations. It was never like that. It wasn't even like that when I had gotten my mommy makeover back in 2018. Wrapped things up, headed back to the hotel. And I was super tired. So I didn't get a chance to go through the outfit for the next day but i knew that i was going to have a little bit more time in the morning even though in my head i already knew exactly what outfit i would wear and what secondary outfit i would wear so i was more comfortable with it for this first video it took about 18 hours from start to finish i hope that when this music video comes out you guys will love it as much as i enjoyed this whole journey from beginning to end Hey you guys, just got back to the hotel from filming A Gangster's Wife and I wanted to record this before I take off my makeup. I am exhausted. I have so much more respect now for people that record videos because whoa. I am so grateful to Urban Kings for being the behind this, believing in my vision. It's a big deal the fact that these videos are being recorded here in Mexico. For me, it's a huge deal. I wouldn't want it any other way. I wanted to record this video more for journal diary entry for me to always remember and never forget this day. I have two videos that I have out. Those videos were recorded so fast compared to this one. This one actually has a story. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Little scenes I have seen so far, the video is everything i wanted and more and for me it's gonna be a big deal like i said because these songs are songs that i released a gazillion years ago and they're finally gonna have a video you mean to tell me girl that back in those days back in those years why didn't you record videos oh insecurities huh because you needed to fix this and you needed to fix that how many years later you waited to be able to record but you got there at least you got here no matter how long it took you but you got here you did get here in a better situation than you were when those songs got released so in a way i'm glad you kind of waited because that would those would have been more cringy had you done them at that time i have so much to say though so much i learned you guys the new videos i'll be out there with my stories and uh, it feels like I'm releasing the songs all over again. It's exciting. Now I get to share with you what happened and you could see it. Oh, before I forget, today is July 16th, 2024. We recorded A Gangster's Wife, July 15th, 2024. Good night, y'all. I hope you will join me for the next episode from this behind the scenes series where I will be talking about what the recording process was like for Back Into My Life, which was filmed the day after A Gangster's Wife. Orale pues, you guys, se me cuidan. This is your homegirl, Miss Crazy. A ratos.